Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Hey, oh, you know, bye. Oh, Mama. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? I'm fine. Where is your mom? She went to the market. Hope there's no problem. There is. Eh? There is. Hey, Stephanie, in fact, there is. My dear, I'm talking to you now. Eh? My kids are at home, crying bitterly because they've not eaten since morning. But, Mama, why have they not eaten? There's no food in the house. I don't have anything in the house. Eh? I went to the woman I did farm work for. As an agreed price, oh, she rather pushed me out of her house. Uh, that's wickedness now. Why would she be so hostile to a poor widow like you? My faith. That has been my faith. Eh? It's my faith. I do good to people. They pay me with evil. Eh? Look at me. Just that I pleaded with her to give me my money so that I can feed my kids. That's all. Eh? But, Mama, mm -hmm. is that what you... Why well, you have come to tell my mother? Mm, yes. And also to lend me some cups of gari. At least for my kids to eat. Mm? My dear, see me. Wicked world. Eh? I just see my husband is still alive. Eh? My dear. Hey, let me. Mama, it's okay. <laughs> it's not the end of life. It is. Oh. So it is. It's okay. Hold on, I'm coming. Okay, my dear. Let's go. The is very tiring. I'm so tired. In I want to see someone there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, my dear. Wait. Is it how that uh, Oluchi behaves? Transferring her frustration on someone else. Why did you say that? Hmm. Imagine a woman. I hired to clear my farmland at the price of 4,000 naira and gave her an advance of 1,500 naira instantly. Okay. So, what came about the transferring of aggression? Who told you, my sister? Uh -huh. Do you know I was still in bed this morning when she came to my house asking of her balance, uh -huh. complaining that uh, uh, her children have nothing to eat, as if I'm the one that killed her husband. Don't talk like that. You are a woman. Don't talk like that. Widowhood is not something you even wish your enemy. It's not a good experience, so don't even use it to insult her. Uh, uh, me, I don't care. Everybody must learn to carry his or her problems. Wait, let me ask. Did you see if she has finished the work or not? Has she cleared the farm? To tell the truth, she finished the job perfectly well. But that does not mean that she will be a parasite to me. Best treat me as if I'm the only one that owes it. Also, some more Eh? Do you listen to yourself? Are you hearing yourself? Look at the way you said it, like basically. Yeah, in fact, I tell you the truth. She has cleared the farm. And what stopped you from paying the poor woman? And she told you that that is the only source of livelihood. That is the money she used to feed her children. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I don't do things like that. She should give me space. I mean, let me breathe. Eh? Eh? Yes. So as you are here, you're not breathing. You're a very wicked woman. You're a wicked woman. What stopped you from paying that poor woman? She told you that is the only way she will feed her children. Oh, can you get any one thing, man? That you have money, you will not pay. Now you have confirmed she did the work perfectly. So what is stopping you from paying her? It must be kindness. Hell, wait, wait. Wait. I don't do this like that. Really? Yes. Eh? She so how do you do it? She should give me space. I mean, let ah, me pay. Hey. Oh yeah, come and take the money and give to her now. You see all this story that we just narrated, all this cock and bull story, 
back all of them and shove them inside this body stomach. Ni ma fosiga, si ni eba. Mo wa be Eliza, I don't pet up that tall. Hey! Ya furia, come and carry the one I give to her. They will be for one. My daughter, are you back? Yes, Mama. Hey, Mama, what is it? Mama, hmm. this is the last grain of rice in this house. Oh. But you can have it. Take. Oh. My daughter. You choose this 1,000 naira. Buy food condiments. Who can feed your children? Oh, my daughter. Thank you so much. Won't your mommy be angry with you? Hence, you said this is the last grain of rice in this house. Don't worry, Mama. Oh. If you. I explain to my mother, I'm sure she will understand. Thank you so much. Besides, my sister can always bring foodstuffs um, for us. My daughter, my God will bless you. Amen. My God will bless you and meet you at the one point of need. Oh? Amen, Thank Mama. Thank you so much. Let's go home and prepare. Thank you. Prepare. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a life. Oh, Eliza, wait. What is it? Eliza. Oh, again. Did I commit any offense asking you to give me my money? Or did I not do the job you hired me for satisfactorily? Eh, Eliza? I am asking you. I am not the cause of your problems. Neither am I the one that killed your husband. So stop seeing me as your troubles, Biko. Ah, ah. Eliza, how are you going Eh, Eliza? I am not asking you. For a loan. Do you hear me? I'm asking you for the money. Give me my money. Shut up. Yeah, me go mo. But you are asking me of loan. Why will you ask me of loan? Did you hear I give her to? Obo style. Am I microfinance bank? I'm not asking you of loan. Eliza, I am warning you. You're pushing me too far. Eliza, you're pushing me. Eliza, don't push me into going to chapel. To pray. Cry to the God of widows. Yeah, Eliza, yeah. give me my money. Yeah, go. Cry, yeah, me. Me. cry, you can cry from Kokoroko till then. Cry until your two eyes fall off. Rubbish. Anyway, this is 1,500 Naira. Come in two weeks' time and collect your balance. Eh? Enano? Come in two weeks' time and collect your balance. Enano, Come and collect your balance. Eliza, I can see that you are all out bringing shame to another person's life. Eliza, I'm going to go to this money. You have this money. Complete my money. Complete my money, Eliza. Give me my money. Of course. Eh? I have the money. Eh? I got the money. Aluji, this hey. is money. Cool, correct. Cool word, eh? Oh, I love the smell of this. Come and collect it now. Come and take it from me. I have the money, I should copy. Come and collect it. Nonsense. I will pay you whenever I decide to do so. Read my lips. Whenever I decide to do so, go and jump inside the river night. Eliza, what you are this? pushing me too far. Eliza, you are parading yourself as if you are God. It's you are not. Do you hear me? If it is it could be harmful. If froggy. Every time you be parading along. Now this street. 
Thank God that life is in the hands of God. If life were to be in man's hands, we shall all be dead by now. And that is why the adage, if men were God, if life were to be in somebody like Elizabeth, we would have all been subjected to perpetual poverty, suffering, and savagery. That woman is hell. Oh, Eliza, mm? I am not ready for that. Cox and Pete, that woman is hell. I can understand how you feel. That woman's heart is made of stone. Obi will be for my That reminds me. Has she given you the balance of your money? Oh, we? No. Instead, she split the money into two and asked me to come back in two weeks' time for the balance. Don't worry. That woman is sad. Hey, 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 hey. Don't bother yourself about Eliza Biko. <laughs> Eliza is wicked. We all know that. The two weeks she talked about is just by the corner. Just hold your peace. Why you leave? You collect your balance of money. Mm -hmm. And next time, learn your lesson. Don't work with her or pay before service. Um, let's forget about that. I came to thank you for the rice and money Stephanie gave me the other day. Hey. <laughs> uh, Stephanie gave you money? Yes, sir. So. And she didn't tell me. My dear. Hmm? <laughs> no problem. It's all right. May my God bless you. <laughs> No Make sure you buy rice, oh, so that as soon as I come back, I make this stew. Huh? Um, um, uh, Mama, oh, there's no grain of rice in this house. Oh. Eh. What happened to the rice I left in the kitchen? About ten cups of rice. What did you do with it? Mama, the thing there is that there was this woman who came here the other day, begging for arms as to feed her kids. So I, I gave her the rice and the little money on me. Mona Teresa! Eh? When you when will you ever learn to say no? Why don't you give what belongs to you? Rather, you give what does not belong to you. Did you buy the rice? The money you give back. Rice, did you buy the rice? Eh? Mama, stop shouting now. Eh? Why are you complaining? You look how you're just shouting. Besides, Angela can always bring some food stuff to us. Eh? Angela is important. And you, Stephanie, you are exporting. Give me the custom duties. Give me the custom! What do you have to Eh? Learn to say no. Learn to say no! This society you see will take advantage of you. Then you will cry had I know. Then you remember this my warning to you. Be careful. Give only what belongs to you. Mama, Mama, you know my heart will not be at rest if I don't get to help the needy. Your mind cannot be at rest, eh? If not for this rain, eh, I would have sent you into this rain. So the people will admit you into their house. And your mind is there at rest. Idiot. Listen to me. Let to, today be the last time you give what does not belong to you in this house. Anything you want to give to anybody, you must ask for my consent. Did you hear me? Mama, if I only give my thing and not your thing, how will God bless you now? I don't require your blessings. I don't want your blessing. Oh, your mother, eh? What? 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 You see our relationship, so loving and cordial. 
But you see, my daughter's condition is giving me sleepless nights. If I tell you it does not give me sleepless nights, I lie. Oh, I deceive myself. The truth is not in me. Oh, eh? oh God. Mm -hmm. I am mostly worried. You know why? Ben is my only son. My only son. Just him. No other person, no girl, no that boy, nothing. That boy na kala kala o. Be na kala wakwana. Time is running out. Oh God, it was he. But I have a question. Why does bad luck, ill luck, before the simple? Oh, Japundi de ma, de su mu menda kafa diocha, kanyo chona tapase. Eh? Why is it like that? I have always known the world like this. Men of goodwill usually suffer. Why the wicked ones keep prospering? No, it will not be like that for me. That is not fair. But in your own thoughts, let me ask you. How do you think we can help the couple? What can we do? No, what do you think we can do? They're of age. They can decide their fate. How about they are our children? You cannot leave them to themselves. I agreed with you. Fine. But you know that you can only take a horse to the stream to drink water. But definitely we will not force him or her to drink. Sure. Meaning? What are you trying to say? I mean that two of them have refused to take anyone's advice. Father again, you're not going to answer. You're not going to answer. You're not going to So does that mean you are comfortable for things to be the way they are? We can't, we can't let things be like this. I will not allow them. Mwa, I will never allow them. Eh? I cannot allow my late husband's lineage to die off like that. It's not possible. Mbano. Ogon. Biko. Anything you want to do to achieve this, I am solidly behind you. I give you my 100% support. Ogon. 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 Nji wunite ihutu omu. Nji ipanite ipatu omu. Hehehe. Nse gwade. Oku yu kwa tomadi. Hey! Do you know what time it is? How can you leave the bedroom and come here to begin to cry yourself again to death? Why are you doing this? I've told you to stop crying. Stop crying. That God will answer us and give us children in due time. <sighs> Sweetheart. Is this not the order of the day for me? Let me cry. I wear the shoe and I know where it pinches me. You don't understand. Honey, I'm wearing the same shoe with you, remember? We're in this together. If you keep doing this, what do you expect me to do? Let's be strong for each other and hope and pray that someday God will answer us. I am certain about that. When? When is God's time? Baby, when? 13 good years. 13 years. 13 good years. I want to have my own child. You will. Just put your trust in God. Our God cannot fail. He will. 
Remember, there are many other people out there in similar situations, not just us. And they have faith, they draw strength from each other. I don't care. I'm just concerned about people. I'm concerned about myself. I want to have a whole child. You will. I want to be a mother. You will. You will have it in God's time. Stop this, so. Oh? Okay, let's go back to bed. Come, 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 come. come. Get up, baby. Pico, pico. You can't do it. Get up. Please. Please, baby. Why are you doing this to yourself? Let's go inside. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Mama, how are you? I'm fine. Ah, you're looking good, Mama. Thank you. Welcome. Mama, let's go inside. Oh, welcome. welcome. <laughs> Your childlessness is giving me concern. It keeps me in bad mood. Each time I realize that you still have nothing to show in this marriage. So that's why I have come to know what is really happening and how far you have gone about it. Well, I'm not doing anything about it. I am praying and waiting patiently on God. You see, you piss me off each time we talk about this matter. And you keep telling me that you are waiting for the right time. Don't you know that time waits for no one? Oh God, Eche Mado. Ebe Kiru no Gene Eche Mado. Children are the joy of every marriage. That's not true. Understanding is the bedrock of every marriage. Love and understanding, mutual understanding. That is it. If you have children and bring them into a home that there is no understanding or love or peace, then you are inviting anarchy. That home will be dysfunctional. But when you have understanding, you have peace at home and then you await children and they will come in God's time, which is exactly what I'm doing now. You see why I said you, are, you, you, you make me go angry each time this matter is being discussed. Several years of childlessness and you are still not bothered. Instead, you keep telling me about time. What time? I don't even see the born again in you that gives you this bunch of hopes. One does not have to be born again to have faith and hope. Patience breeds hope. How long are you going to be patient? For how many years? I'll be patient for as long as my dream is still coming. When that happens, I will be fine. So, how can your dream come true when you have refused to work for it? How? Mama, who told you I'm not working towards it? I'm not doing anything about it. Oh, because I'm not going about it your way, that's why you feel there's nothing I'm doing about it. Can you just stop this pressure? You are driving me insane with it. It's enough. Please, Mama, I don't like this pressure. Be cool. Any way you want to do it, do it. I don't care. And you listen. Your father and I did everything we could to have all that children after you. But everything proved abortive. We gave you all the necessary things you needed in life that led to your success today. So that you can get married on time as the only son. We hoped on you to feel the family before your father died. And nothing happened. Now, hear me out. If I leave this world without my grandchildren, <laughs> it will not be easy for us. I am 
telling you nothing but the truth. The earlier you work for it, the better for you. Because I am losing it. What is it again? Why are you in this mood again? This minute you're happy, the next minute you're unhappy, you, you, you started shedding tears. Take this thing easy now, stop doing this to yourself. Baby, I always told you, I told you that no matter what, the woman always takes the blame. You don't believe me. You don't believe me at all. Now see. See it. Baby, see it. See what? Have I ever blamed you for our predicament? <laughs> Your mother. She's directly blaming me for everything. But I'm not able to give you a child. <laughs> Baby. There's nothing we can do about this. If we can do something, I overheard everything he told you. I heard everything. Maybe she said she she cannot live and die without carrying her own grandchildren. Baby, please. I, I don't want us to be under any cost by anybody. Not to talk of your mom. Please let's let's do something about it, Pico. Go. Okay, what do you suggest we do? Who gives you these ideas? I know this is what you will say. I know you will not agree. I know. I knew it. I know. I know. But, but, but baby, sincerely, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Listen to me. I will not do it. And this is the last time I will discuss this topic. Mama, I have done everything possible. Everything within my powers. Mama, there's nothing that is working. It's not working, Mama. I'm confused. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Listen, I understand what you're going through as a mother. I know how you feel. And who wouldn't feel worse? I mean, my situation is worse down here. I go through night sleepless. I don't sleep. I'm as bothered as you are. It's not easy. 13 years down the line, no child to show for the marriage. It's not something anybody should glory in. But what do we do? You don't lose your patience with such an idea. It will ruin everything, my daughter. Please, I beg you. Mama. 
my husband is being pressurized by his mother. Anytime she comes to the houses, give me grandchildren, I want my grandchildren to get a wife. I'm tired. If this one just brings this mama, no problems. Let it happen. I will give my consent. I don't mind. I don't, but I don't listen. It's okay. You know, people have gone through situations like this. And the later became pregnant and had children. Yours won't be an exception. You will still conceive. Just that if they don't come, if they don't come to fruition, don't worry. You're pregnant and you carry it to full time. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Some people have gone through it, yet they had children at the end of the day. Uh, Mama, you will still conceive. Mama, when? Mama, when? I can't wait, Mama. I want to have my own child. Mama, when? When can I Mama, when? You were you were 13 years of 13 good years, Mama. Where will you be? Mama. Don't give up now, please. I beg you, my daughter. Don't give up. So that I don't kill myself. The way you're going, you're making me lose my mind. Not when my husband is being pressurized by his mother. He's under so much pressure, Mama. Just too much, Mama. Sister, stand your back. Welcome. Uh, uh, Steph, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, Mama, mm -hmm. these are the things you asked me to buy. Thank you, my daughter. Just keep it in the kitchen. I'll come and handle it. Oh. to hear it. Just calm down. Let's handle it the way we used to handle it, all right? Uh, I feel it's my fault. I feel it's my fault, you Mama. You have of miscarriages. How come I made our nails on our days? Mama, you are here. I have been searching around for you. Even I went to the party, I didn't see you. I want to go to the farm. Now this weather is not friendly. Eh? But you are seeing you. It's rainy season here, so that it doesn't beat me when I get to the farm. <laughs> Mama, it won't beat you. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. fine indeed. And you're finer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Mama, <laughs> eh? I'll be going back this afternoon. I said, let me tell you. Oh, please, you, uh, mm. you mentioned it before. Yes, Mama. No problem. It's all right. But the mom, mom. Oh? Yes, Mama. Listen. Hold yourself together. Put your trust in God completely. You see, God, he has a way of doing his own thing. And he perfects his own own thing at the right time. He does not forsake his own. Mm. Is he no? <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Mm. Eh, but Mama, mm. in case it's a more poor Stephanie, I should go with Stephanie to the city. I don't understand. Are you going to stay here all alone? Hey, why are you bothered about me, your mother? Your mother is strong enough to take care of herself. You can see me. I'm very strong. <laughs> Small water I can Ma. lift, sweep. I can do those things. Besides, that's my sister's grandchild. Mm. You come over during the holidays okay. to stay with me. Okay. Moreover, it's better that you take Stephanie. Stephanie has finished secondary school. Nkiti had drawn more, no. So that she will start extramora classes to be able to write her jam and pass. And enter the university. Mama, yes. Ah. You made a very serious. What do you call responsible? Come and go and yum yum yum. No, no, I go say that. Mama, you know sometimes, eh, if at always, you surprise me. You know, but it's okay. <laughs> have you eaten something? Yes. And have you eaten something too? Ah, mango no go no. Eating that, my pleasure. But you go monster. I'm not one I watch in wait. I'm not one. Hey, Just to try and jog off one more. Maybe eat it. Slay. Want to slay, mama? <laughs> <laughs> okay, mama. Um, be good, them. Don't overstress or work yourself, please. In case my name is Mewu, happy ya bam. You got talo. In case you need whatever you need, just give your daughter a call. I will just be here. Boom. Okay, them. That boy will do it. At least he penko. He wanko. Eh, ona. Ah, walangu biko. Makimu mozu. 
Ne mo? I'm offering it on you so much. Sweetheart, my sister is here. Yeah, I can see her. <laughs> Welcome, Steph. Thank you, sir. And then she'll be going for extra moral lessons for a jump. She's done with work already? Oh my god. Look at Steph of yesterday. <laughs> I hope you smashed all your papers. Yes, sir. I made all my papers with good grades. I trust you. Congrats, dear. <laughs> Anyways, of course, you know this is your home, so make yourself comfortable, as comfortable as possible. Hmm? Be a good girl. You're welcome. <laughs> Honey, let yes, me darling. go upstairs and freshen up. I've had a long day. I need to rest. Oh, okay. I'll join you soon. All right. Good night. Good night, sir. Good night, Steph. Good night. Be a good girl. Your husband is a nice person. Hmm. He's not just a nice person. He's a wonderful person. <laughs> okay, let me go join him upstairs. When you're done with the TV, swing it up and then go to sleep. Take care. Us to talk. Hmm. By this time of the night, I need to wait till morning. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, can't wait. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Um, my love, uh, it's about what I told you the other day. I I don't know if you have um, given it a thought. Is this why you woke me up at this time of the night? Yes, I'm sorry. It's the reason why I woke you up, my love. I'm sorry. You know, I... Each time your mom comes here and mounts pressure on you, it breaks my heart. Sincerely. It's... Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Huh? Baby, please. You know you promised to always make me happy. I beg you, my love, do this one for me, Bikono. Please. Yes, I made that promise, but on this particular issue, I will go back on that. I can't do it, I'm sorry. No, baby, don't say that. Please. Baby, don't say that. Baby, this is for our own good. You know it. My love, Bikunu, please. I am a woman. And I know what I am talking about, Bikunu. Sweetheart, please. Please. Baby, if I said you don't want me to be happy. Yes, I made a promise. But on this particular issue, I will go back on that. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm tired. I'm frustrated. How I wish I could just take a walk. And have the peace of mind I want. My friends. Can you desist from pushing your husband out of the house? What is the problem? Love it. Can you put yourself in my shoes? Do you understand? 
the pains of a childless woman. Don't you understand? And what senseless shoes are we talking about here? Or are you not lucky to have a man who has been very supportive? Ben. Ben has been very supportive. Oh. No doubt. I'm not arguing it. But. But do you know? The agony. The pains that I go through. Each time the mother comes to the house. And then the next thing she wants is for me to leave my home. Don't you understand? Can you hear yourself? No, 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 no. Can you hear yourself? What can Ben's mother do without Ben's approval? Everything. Oh, no. Everything. She's already destroying me. So what else can she do? Love it. Love it. Of course you don't understand. You don't understand the pains of a childless woman. The tears. The sleepless night. The insult. The mockery. People pointing fingers at me that I can't give my husband a child. You think I'm a happy woman? You don't understand, my friend. You don't. Okay. Okay. If I may ask, where is the faith? Don't tell me that though you carry the Bible when you go to church, but your heart is too far from God. Please don't sound like that. Please don't. Don't begin to sound like that, I beg you. Nico, don't sound like that. You're breaking my heart. Please. It's okay. But if you feel offended, then you need to your step and put your trust in God. Okay? Just stop this thing that you're doing. Stop it. God! Stop this thing that you're doing, please. I don't like it. Stop. You sounded very, very urgent on the phone. Who call this one? Alex. What would you do if your wife wants you to do something against your wish? Well, it depends on what she wants me to do for her. If it's something within my reach, fine and good, I'll go ahead and do it. But if not, I might know is the answer. Uh, but why did you ask? I... My wife wants me to bring another woman into the house. You mean it? Very fine, very interesting. What? But yeah, no, 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 no. You should be very happy about this. She meant what for you. Aren't you happy about it? Well, you don't understand, Alex. What is it you want me to understand? That your wife wants you to bear children? That she is happy? That she wants children in the house? Is that what I don't understand? Come on, my dear. Go ahead, get a wife. Wait, come to think about it. How many women do you think would do this type of thing? Come on, be happy about this. That's the point. The point is, I have never planned my life this way. I never wanted to be involved in polygamy. Yes, I know there is pressure. I know, I know she's doing this in the interest of everybody. But then, it's usually easy at the beginning. When another woman comes in now, before you know it, there will be huge conflict. How do I manage that? One might even send the house and please. I'm avoiding this. Come on, Ben. Why are you sounding as if you are imposing this on her? For God's sake, this is her suggestion. You should be very happy. Huh? She meant well for you. Come on, she wants you to bear kids. She wants children in the house. Be happy. Ah. Going against your wish never brings you happiness. It only brings regrets. <laughs> it's okay, at this point, at this point, what do you suggest? What do you want to do? The only alternative I know is patience. Patience, my friend, my bosom friend. Patience works only when one person is involved. 
But when two is involved, my brother, <laughs> it is pressure. Pressure, my dear, pressure. Angela, I have given you my answer. I will not do it. No amount of persuasion or coercion will make me change my mind on this. But your mother comes and will leave my mother out of it. My mother does not tell me how to live my life at all. I have a right to decide what to do in my own home. Well, fine. But her case is one to die in pain and agony. It's all right. But sweetheart, we went to have a broken home. Yes. Is that a threat? My lover, I don't give threats. I mean everything I just told you now. Because one, I am your wife. I can give you ideas. You your ideas are not working. What sort of weird and outrageous idea is that? Where does that happen? I will not take that idea and I will not give attention to this again. Baby, please give me an answer. I want an answer. My answer is no. And that is final. Something I want to discuss with you. Really? Okay, sit down. Sister, I want to ask. Okay. Is there any problem going on between you and your husband? Because the way both of you shouted at each other last night was really nothing to write home about. So as your sister. Is there something I should know? Um, no, no, my dear. No, nothing. There is nothing, no. Seriously. If there is, I would come meet you first and tell you. Of course. There is nothing. Are you saying everything is okay? Everything is perfectly beautiful. There is nothing. You know, it's just a normal husband and wife and issues here and there and there. But we are fine. Very fine now, my darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, if you insist. I was just worried last night. That's why I'm being so concerned. Oh, be one minute. I'm fine. That oh, thank you, thank you, my love. Yes, and by the way, what are we having for breakfast this morning? Uh, you tell me. Hmm. Okay. Fufu and white soup. Come on, sister. Huh? You're joking, right? Joking. Fufu is, is AY here. I can I joke? I'm serious. Fufu. Fufu, yeah. Why do you expect me to get fufu this early morning? Uh-uh. You run to the village and get it. Mama will give it to you. You're saying fufu. Fufu. Because we give come and start going. You're saying fufu. What you mind tomorrow? I'm go sorry. like that, fufu. Go, go, go. Be fast. Like serious. Yeah, yeah. like I'm, 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 I'm serious. Okay, I'm fine. You're saying fufu. What's fufu? Fufu. Ah, fufu. <laughs> go like this. Gaba, gaba, gaba. You're saying fufu. Yeah. <laughs> fufu. Fufu is your name for today. Fufu. To scale through post jam in universities of one choice is another problem. God will help us. Though the university authorities are looking for ways and means to frustrate us. That's it. That's the point. One day, the university authority will introduce post faculty exams for us to write. <laughs> <laughs> Steph, that reminds me. That Tony of a guy is seriously pestering me about you. Evelyn, that guy is mad. Yes, he is. Thank God I didn't even give him my contact. So, indirectly, you're laughing at me for carrying your load for you, Abby. <laughs> Come on, we're our friends for. Okay. Anyway, what does he even want? I'll tell you as we go.
come in, the door is open. Step. Good morning, sir. Good morning, how are you? Sir, so your food is ready. Don't worry, I'm not hungry yet. I'm sorry, where is my wife? How is she? She went to the salon to make her hair. Alright, it's okay. You, you may go. My girl, <laughs> baby, you are looking so Thank beautiful. You. Look at your hair. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, look at your watch. You're looking so good, mm. sweetheart. Sincerely, yes, gosh, I envy you. I envy you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you can say that again. Yes, I can. But you know, I'm funny. Too. Tell me, please, what is it? My husband has always supported my social lives. He always allowed me to go to parties, friends around, and easy life. Oh, oh, hell, <laughs> hell, no. mm -hmm. You're so lucky. I'm telling you, this is exactly what I wanted my my husband, my darling, Ben, to do for me. But not my husband, there. Eh? He's so I don't know. He's a oh, I mean, munchy, munchy too much, you know. It's always to Steve. I, 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 but it's fine. It's fine, Jay. I sincerely envy you. I do. Angela, please, 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 please. Don't come and spoil this moment, please. Okay. Uh, face of family. Let me face mine. All right. Uh, but you know, sometimes if wishes were horses, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was just trying to express myself. You know. Okay. So, hey. what do you want us to go? You know what I want? I don't know. Don't okay, me. yes, please. I, just take me somewhere where we can sit in a very cool and wonderful place. We can sit down over a bottle of cold drink. Just I'm late for work and as such, my coffee should be ready by now. Mm. The coffee is ready downstairs on the dining table. Stephanie has taken care of that. Did I hear you right? You heard me. Since when did Stephanie become my wife that prepares my meals now? Sweetheart, does it matter? It doesn't matter. The thing you need more is your food, isn't it? Yes, it's downstairs, ready for you to go and eat. Simple. Angela, what has come over you? Why the sudden change of attitude? I don't know what you're talking about. I cannot believe that my lovely wedded wife will turn into a total stranger overnight. And I cannot believe that my lovely wedded husband will change to a beast, making me cry every time in agony and regret. Yes. What do you mean by this? What do you mean too? Is this of yours? You are just being so egocentric. I don't understand it. Well, it's my fault asking you to prepare coffee for me i'm off to work okay okay good day sister frankly speaking from what is happening these days I think something is wrong somewhere. Steph, I have told you times without numbers that there's nothing wrong. Nothing. I am your younger sister. And I believe you can confide in me. Please tell me what the problem is. Please. Okay, fine. If you insist. 
Well, it's just about my um, brother-in-law's illness. You know, he's been sick for some time now, and then the thing that's eating deep into my husband's finance, okay? And you're uh, just giving him serious concerns, it's affecting him. That's just it, my darling. Nothing more, okay? And what kind of sickness would make him neglect his meals almost on a daily basis? Uh, maybe he's not just um, hungry, you know, maybe... I don't know, appetite, you know. But, um, appetite for this? Steph, please now. I know my husband more than you do. Can you, you just let this lie? Leave it, please. Alright, I, I will be in my room. I have some books to concentrate oh. on. Okay, please, we will. Thank you. If I put it, Jerry, not be the Jesse, I want you to get from family. If I put it, Jerry, not be the Jesse, I want you this whole thing is turning into something else. I mean, you need to get confused. What is it this time around, Ben? My wife. She hardly talks to me now. She hardly regards me. She's become so irritating. We practically quarrel and shout at each other every night. Should I even talk about my meals? She doesn't even cook for me anymore. Each time I complain about that, she tells me her sister will handle it. What do you want me to do? Ben, I'm very sorry to tell you that you are the cause of all these things. Simple tax that your wife told you to do. You bluntly refuse to do it. Do you think it's all women that will do such a thing? You are a lucky man. Honestly, you are very lucky to have her as a wife. Alex, do you really think I should be blamed for this? Of course, you should be blamed for everything. What if I take up this suggestion and things turn out the other way? What's the guarantee that the next woman is going to bring those children? And what if it doesn't happen? It becomes a situation of jumping from frying pan to fire. Is that the kind of life you want from me? Come, man. <laughs> See, until we get to that bridge, you know how to cross it. Okay? In essence, what are you suggesting? Ben, save yourself the stress. For God's sake, do what others are doing. I don't do things because other people do it. I do things that please me, things that work for me. That is, you don't go doing things because you see every other person doing it. Come on. Ben, not when it affects and influences other people's existence. Okay? If it does, for God's sake. You don't take decisions alone. Come on. Hi. Honey, I am asking you again. Where are you coming from? Answer me, please. I owe you no explanation, woman. Sweetheart, you owe me every detail. Explanations. I am not your maid. I am your wife. You don't come and give me orders. And you don't dictate to me how I run my home. What is wrong with you? This home had been peaceful and happy until you came up with your dirty and outrageous ideas. And now you want me to explain to you where I go in search of happiness? Is that it? Oh, really? So you go now to seek happiness from elsewhere? Yes, until you become reasonable. Is that how you want it? No. That is how you want it. If you don't mind, I need to get some rest now.
And if please open the door, it's me. I've been searching for you all over the place. Please, just go away. Leave me alone. I'm fine here. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry for everything. I'm sorry for everything. Please. I know, but I want us to talk. Can you just please open the door? It's important. No, I'm not opening. Go away. It is serious. I really want us to discuss, please. No, go away. Leave me alone. Okay. I have accepted to do what you suggested. Hmm? What did you say? Say it again, please. I have accepted to go by your suggestion. I will do it. Ah, I love you. I love you too. Sister, you called me. Yes, I did. Um, How far have you gone with the cooking? I'm almost done. Um, just don't worry about the cooking. I will continue with it. Go and do something else, okay? Because my darling husband is very hungry and then I want to serve him myself. Hey, <laughs> mm -hmm. sister. Yes. What is the secret behind this overwhelming excitement? You say, I <laughs> um, something beautiful, something wonderful, something sweet happened between my husband and I. <laughs> Sister, please tell me, I want to know. Tell me. Sister, please tell me, I want to know. No what? No what? Come on, will you go out and do what else are you going to do? Now I want to know. Know what? Are you married? Come on, we go. Shit! Uma! Okay. Ufe! 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 I want to know. Know what? Can you solve the issue? Nonsense. Ben. Ben. Don't you think this decision you are making will escalate things and make matters get worse? Don't you think so? Alex, I cannot sit back and watch my family tear apart. The happiness my wife and I once shared has flown out of the window. And this is becoming too much. It's taking a toll on me both physically and emotionally. Now you think being deceptive will make happiness come back to your family? For God's sake, how long will you continue to deceive her? How long? When we get to the bridge, we'll cross it like you always say. No. We are at the bridge already. And any mistake you make here now will shatter the whole thing. And it will make your mission not accomplished and you find yourself falling into the deep blue sea. Oh God. Honestly, Alex, I'm confused. I know. I know you are confused. And you is bringing all this confusion upon yourself. You alone also will make this confession disappear from you. Come on. Huh? Huh? You cannot make promises you cannot keep. You don't. And I'm not trying to be harsh or insultive, but I'm sorry. Can't be out of this sense, but please, I beg of you. When you come to your right senses, we can talk. Excuse me. I want you to always take care of my baby. I don't want all these singum jam bite boys around her. Please, oh. Tony, you can trust me on that one. 
Any idiot I see around her is going to be in serious trouble. Like seriously? Look who is talking. Evelyn and myself, who will take care of each other? Baby, come off that. You're partially right. Oh. Although... Although what? Eh? Tony, spill the beans. You know the truth. Say it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Both of you will take care of each other. <laughs> you okay? Okay. Don't mind Evelyn. She's a mother here. <laughs> you can say whatever you like. I will continue to take care of you. Moreover, for Tony. As Tony wedded wife. As Tony's wedded wife. Like seriously. Evelyn, one bottle for you. Yes. One bottle for her, right? Baby, relax. I will give you three bottles. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweetheart. Yeah, honey. How far have you gone with your arrangement? And when are you bringing her home? Oh, fine. Arrangement is in top gear. But I'm being careful. I'm taking my time before bringing her home because if you're not careful about these things, they may backfire. Mmm. That's good. You made a point. Mm -hmm. Um, baby, I was thinking, why not just um involve your mom? You know, she's a woman and of course your mother. She might just help us get a very good and nice girl. What do you think? I thought about that too, honestly I did. But you know, I wanted to come to Mama as a surprise. Mm. Moreover, I'm the one getting married, so I know what I want, don't worry. <sighs> Baby, thank you so much for all you do for me. I will thank do you. anything for my lovely wife. I'll go to Lent and Breath of this world. I love you. Love you more. <laughs> Since this issue of your husband taking a second wife came up, as you can see, I've never said anything about it. I'm not surprised. I know you. You've got attitude. I know. So I, I wasn't expecting this, anyways. Um, no, my darling, yeah. I wear the shoe, and I know where it pinches. Please understand it, Pico. It's okay. I know you sound judgmental, but the only thing I see in you now is a woman who has gone out of her senses. Prophet, please. Can you stop? Pico, no, stop! Try and understand me. You see my madness right now? Pico, accommodate it. Accommodate it, please. I'm going crazy, don't you understand? Since your husband accepted your advice in taking a second wife, that was the day you murdered your slave. No! I refuse that statement. I cannot accept it. It's not possible. Love it. Since I ever married my husband, the kind of peace of mind I have now, the happiness, everything, I have not felt it in a long time. Don't you understand? Okay, girlfriend. That is a water room. How do I stand my wife if she eventually knows I'm not serious about this? Ben, I think you have taken the wrong step because this could be adding salt to injury. What do I do now? Do I tell her I'm no longer interested? Alex could be right, you know. Hey, oh my God, when you caused this so... I should have stood my ground initially. Why? Why?
step, baby. My whole life is empty without you. I want you to feel this back. Tony. Yes, dear. Do you know I've not done what you're asking before? I know, but I'm going to use protection. Besides, I'm going to be gentle on you. Please. Stop now, maybe next time. Oh. If I have been, I wouldn't have honored this invitation. Just for some minutes. You're done. Sorry, sir. What else is ready? Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, darling, are you fine? Because you you look a little bit withdrawn. Is that something I should know? Or do you want something? No, sister. Just that I feel for the character in the movie I'm watching. <laughs> Please, come on. It's just a movie. <laughs> Please, can you cheer up? Smile. Smile. <laughs> Please. Come on. I'll see you soon, okay? Mm. Alright, darling, take care. Thank you. Yeah. Angela, since you told me this thing you called good news, my mind has not been at rest. How is this good news? So after everything I told you, you still went on with this your idea. Mama, please. Please don't even start, Biko. Don't start. I know just what I am doing. Mama. The truth is, I can't even stand my mother-in-law's threat anymore. I'm tired. She comes to the house and then mouth pressure my husband. It breaks my heart. I can't take it anymore. Mama, I don't want my mother-in-law to see me as someone standing in a way for her son to get another wife. She comes to the house and talk, talks everything. I am tired, Mama. I'm tired. Do you know that, Mama, do you know that I cannot even go to the village with my husband anymore because of my mother-in-law? Mama, please, please. Angela. Angela. Mama. Angela, don't you think you're becoming too hard on yourself? Wait, are you, the pressure you said is on your husband. Are you now your husband? Are you Ben? Wait, let me ask you. Since all these things, has your mother-in-law confronted you on this issue ever since? Yes. Yes, Mama. She has confronted me several times. Though she, she wasn't harsh. She, she, she was not harsh. But, but, Mama, I am not a child. She comes in and talks to my husband every time. I heard her. She's talking to me indirectly. I know. Mama, I know. From all indication, you have lost confidence in God. You have lost faith in God. You don't even believe you're, believe you're going to conceive again. And this is baffling. Mama. Mama, I know and I have the faith that I will conceive again. But for now, let me just hold on and, and wait till when God says, Angela, Take your own children. Please, Mama, please. 
So how are you sure this thing you're about to do will guarantee that peace and happiness you're looking for? Mama, I know. From all indication, your mind is made up. There is no need persuading you from your mind, from what your mind is said to do. In fact, you're old enough to know what is good for you. So, from what you said now, has it started making any arrangement to this effect? Yes, Mama. He has. Ah. I. I just came to, to let you know, to inform you. Ah. God. God, why is this happening to me? God, have you forgotten your promise to the children of Israel, to the Hebrews? You told them there shall be no barren among them. Why is my own like this? What is happening to me? What did I do? What did I do? Angela, why are you trying to do this to me? What did I ever do to you? Mama, please. Hey. Hey, please, I beg you, Mama, please. Hey! It can't do us any well. I can't cry anymore. Please, I'm, I don't have tears again. Please, Mama, I God. beg you. No, no, no. I don't know what you want from me. I don't know why you want to do this. Mama, please. Stop. I don't know why you want to bring this problem upon us. I want to give up. 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 What is happening? First it was my sister and now her husband. her husband losing concentration on almost on daily basis. Obviously something is not right. Yet she makes me believe and has refused to tell me what's going on. Maybe it's the marriage like she earlier pointed. But something is wrong. I'm sure something is wrong. Could it be me? Yes, sister, I'm fine. Are you sure? I'm perfectly okay, sister. No problem. You are perfectly okay, no problems. Okay, sister, no problem. Certainly. You're sure? Okay, sister, no problem. If you say so, Okay, I will go get dressed now. I want to go out. Yes, sir.
Marvin. Yes, honey. Have you noticed any changes in Stephanie's behavior in recent times? Stephanie? Mm -hmm. Changes? Mm -hmm. No. Why do you ask? Um, just that the other day, I saw her at the sitting room. She was just lost and deep in thought. And the next thing I saw was she was vomiting. You know, but, but she didn't see me. I just thought maybe she told you she was sick while I was away. No, she didn't tell me she was sick. Even if she was sick, probably she felt it's something she could handle and wouldn't want to disturb us with it. Like, it could be minor or something. That shouldn't be an issue now. Really? Are you sure? Of course. You worry yourself about so very little things. Okay, that's by the way. So, sit up. How far is our I really need to know intact. Very much intact. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> I can't wait to meet her. Yes. Huh. Very soon you'll see her. I've already finished all arrangements. Oh my god, I love you. <laughs> love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, yes, sir. You called me. I did. Sit down. Stephanie, sister. Stephanie, my sister. Sister, my sister. For some time now, I have noticed a drastic change in your character. Everything about you has changed. And as a matured woman, I said to myself, there's something wrong with you. When you say you're fine, my darling, it is a lie. I do not believe you. Stephanie, is there something I should know? Sister, I have told you there is nothing wrong with me. It's just a slight fever which I have taken care of. Sister, I am fine. I do not believe you. I don't believe you. Stephanie, at each time I ask you this question, you keep saying you're fine, you're fine, but I know you are not fine. As your sister and as, as a very matured woman, I can see that you're not okay. Steph. You tell me you're fine, and the next thing you go out there vomiting. How can you be fine? Stephanie, please talk to me. I am your sister. Confide in me, please. Sister, what else do you want me to say? I've told you that I'm fine. You are not fine, Stephanie. You are not. Okay, fine. You say you're fine. Okay, fine. It's alright. No problems. I believe you. Just go inside and go get dressed. Let's go and see the doctor. Eh? Sister doctor? Ha! That's a waste of money, you. Hmm. 
Chai, my darling. Stephanie, is it your money? It's not. It's my money. I am not complaining. Okay? Darling, go get dressed. Let's go and see the doctor. Please be fast about it. Shut up and go and go and get dressed. Resort here shows that your sister here is six weeks pregnant, coupled with slight malaria. Stephen, are you pregnant? I am talking to you. Who is responsible for this pregnancy? Stephen, madam. Take it easy with her. Shouting at her will not solve the problem. Rather, just come closer to her and ask her. She'll be able to tell you who is responsible for it. No, doctor, no! She will tell me who the person is here and right now! with your breakfast. Yes, sir. Good. Sit down. Honey, Steph and I went to the doctor yesterday. Oh my God. Is she sick? What's wrong with her? Typhoid, malaria? Honey, Steph in here is six weeks pregnant. Pregnant? How? <laughs> Steph, are, are you pregnant for real? <laughs> are, are you pregnant? Baby, let me ask her the same question I want you to help me. Ask her, who is the father of that baby? Please! Who is responsible for your pregnancy? If you don't start talking now, Whether you like it or not, you must tell me who is responsible for that pregnancy. Now get inside. Get into the house! Get inside, I'll, I'll, I'll call you when I need you. Have you ever seen her pregnant? No! Do I go everywhere with her? But she hardly ever goes out of this house. Sweetheart, that is the most surprising thing for me. Like, I cannot fathom, I don't understand what is happening. To worry, I'll find out. Give me a little time. I must get to the root of this matter. Please do, please. I will. Under my roof? That's <laughs> what I'll, I'll find out. Okay. Please do, please. Stephanie. Sister, Stephanie, sister, why are you doing this to me? Why? Why, my love, why? Eh? Please tell me who the father 
of this child is. I want to know, my love. Why are you doing this? You are hurting me. Okay, fine. Do you want to have an illegitimate child? Is that what you want? My sister. So then tell me who the person is. I want to know. I really want to know. My darling. You know all these men? They are useless. They are irresponsible. Once they get you pregnant, they just run away and then they, they hide. I want to know the person so I can face it. My love, tell me who is the person? Who? Sister. Yes, darling. I am completely disappointed in myself. I feel like killing myself. No! Shush it! Shut up! Don't say that! Don't you ever kill yourself? Why? How? Don't. You are a woman, you shouldn't say that. You are going to tell your womb. Let's talk about this, please. Sister. I know it's a strong word to use, but it's also the best word and a thing to do in a situation like this. I'm so ashamed of myself. No, no. Don't be ashamed of yourself. Don't you be ashamed, my darling. Okay? You see, you see why I want to know this? Why I'm asking you? I'm asking because I want that man to come up and show himself and take care of your pregnancy. Take responsibility of what he has done to you. Very importantly, that is why I'm asking you, my love. Please, who is the person? Who is the man? Tell me. Sister. Okay? Yes, darling. Sister, there is no responsibility but stupidity. And I should be blamed for all of this. No, 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 my darling. No, my darling. Oh my daddy, do not blame yourself, okay? Don't. It's not your fault. Don't blame yourself. And, and don't be too hard on yourself also. Not in your condition. I am here for you. Talk to me. Talk to me, please. Okay? Sorry, dear. Are you evening? Yes, I am. Oh, how did you get to know my name? Oh, my dear, I... I, I, I had to talk to someone about you, I described to you, and I was told you are Evelyn, and that I, I, I can find you here. So, and please, I want to ask you a question. Do you know one Steph, okay, okay, Stephanie? Yes, yeah, Steph is my very good friend. Oh, okay, um, perfect, perfect. Uh, uh, my dear, do you know that she's pregnant? Pregnant? No, I don't know about that. You are very sure? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. Um, uh, um, uh, have you s seen her paraventure with any male colleague, friend or something? Never. I haven't seen her in the company of any man. You're very sure. Yes, I'm Can sure. Can you just um, think, maybe, you're very sure? Yeah. You want me to believe you? Okay. I, 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 I'm sorry. Um, thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. You have every right to be angry and upset and disappointed and all of that. But the way you are going about this is wrong. It will do more harm than good. The kind of pressure you are mounting on that girl could not just devastate her emotionally. It could give her a mental trauma. And that will be worse. Sweetheart, my sister is pregnant. And for the past two weeks, she has refused to tell me who got her pregnant. No, you want me to just sit there and say, okay, fine, it's calm, it's okay. Is that what you want? I know. I understand you, not like I don't. I do. 
But the way you're going about it is wrong. That's what I'm saying. Consider she's in that condition. Moreover, she's not the first girl to get pregnant out of wedlock. It has happened to a million women out there. I do not care if it happens to 50 billion women. Steph is my sister. For that reason, I want to get to the root of this matter. Just be careful the way you go about it. That's my concern. Honey, the way and manner I go about it shouldn't be an inch your problem. Good night and sleep well. Don't you pick your call? Stephanie. Are you ready to tell me who got you pregnant? Are you ready to let me know who the father of that child is? Are you ready? Do you have any friend, whether male or female, in your lesson center? Yes. Hmm. What is the person's name? Evelyn. Evelyn? Evelyn, that name sounds familiar. Do you know where she stays? No, I've not been to their house. And has she come here to visit you before? Yes, yes. I saw her. What did she come to do? Mama, it happened. I, I, I could not even come to terms with it. God, why would I allow this kind of humiliation to come upon me? How could you allow this kind of thing to happen to me, God? What sin did I commit to deserve this kind of humiliation? What will I tell people? What will I tell my village people? What will I tell them? What will I tell everybody? Hey! 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 Oh, from this, from this dream, because I know I'm dreaming. It's not happening. This is not happening. This is. Steph, I was supposed to go somewhere, then I came in this day to come and see you. Sister, consider the fact the state you are putting your senior sister into. This is a woman who brought you out here to better your life. I know, Auntie. Okay, stuff. Now I want to know who is responsible for this pregnancy. Auntie, uh, stuff. Fine. If you want me to keep it secret, I will. But tell me, who is responsible? I'm coming, I'm coming. Um, Auntie, you have to excuse me. Miss called. Excuse me.
I think something is really fishing here. But we'll still find out. Ben, as an experienced adult than I am, I just noticed something while I was discussing with Steph. Please don't hide anything from me. What did you notice? Okay. Since it has been established that Steph doesn't go out, well, she has male friends. So I think the man that caused the damage is within the compound. Who do you suspect? I suspect Musa, the gatekeeper. Jesus Christ. when you are living here with her. I begged you to go and take care of your sister. Mama, Mama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all that happened, sister. I'm sorry how to allow the devil use me. But this yoke, it was not intentional. It was your corporate intention, Mama. It was never intentional. Stephanie, how long has this been going on? It happened a few months back when. when... So, your food is ready. I'm not hungry yet, don't worry. I'll let you know when I am. So for quite some time now you've been rejecting food. How to talk of the pensive mood you have been dodging? Is there a problem? I didn't tell you there was any problem. I said I am not hungry. If there's any problem, I can handle it. Don't worry. I'll be fine. That was the last thing you told me the other time. But here you are looking so grumpy. It's obvious everything is not well. I know I'm not part of the family, but the problem shared is half solved. I can't continue to wash you and my sister looking so grumpy almost on a daily basis. And you pretend and make me believe all is well when all is not. I hate to say this, but if I'm the reason for all this, I can just go back to the village. Can you stop saying this? I just told you now that there is no problem. Even if there were, it's something I can handle. I'm old enough to handle my issues, okay? Just. Don't bother yourself about it. You're not the reason for anything. Then who is? Because I'm so disturbed. And you can agree with me that all is not well. You know what? Just go, go inside. I'll call you whenever I'm hungry. If you insist. Excuse me. So that is the situation. Since then she has changed into a totally different person. Someone I could even barely talk to or understand. But sir, uh, this shouldn't be a problem between you and your wife. All you need to do is apply wisdom and make her see reasons with you, that's all. <sighs> what have I not done? I've spoken to her, I've made her see reasons, but she just wouldn't. She thinks I'm being obstinate and it is wrong. No, sir. She is my sister. I'll talk to her. I believe she will see reasons with me. Please do. I hope she does see reasons with you also. I mean, I cannot imagine bringing in another woman into this house. Yes, at first it might sound easy, but when trouble sets in now, everybody will bear the brunt. Like I said earlier, she's my sister and I'll talk to her. Let's see what happens at the end of it all. Alrighty. So, can you go for your food now? <laughs> You're bent on having me eat. Okay, um, just go set the table. I'll gain some appetite and come join you. Alright. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your life. Ah, Steph. So, 
day, sir. Good day. How are you? I'm fine, sir. And has my wife called you? Not yet, but she'll be back today. You know how it is in the village. That's true. That's it. You see, I decided to call you and say thank you for being a good person. For standing by your sister and I, for trying to make things work between us, even amidst the tension here already and the situation on ground. I really do appreciate that, okay? And I want you to still continue to talk to her, to see reasons. Sir, you don't have to thank me. She's my sister and you her husband. So it still revolves around one family. But I want to assure you, by God's grace, I will talk to her and she will understand. Yeah. You're a good sister-in-law. Not everybody would have your kind of mindset. I'm really proud of that. So how do I compliment you? Sir, you're funny. Just keep whatever compliment you have until I'm done. Then you can compliment me whatever you want. But you've done well already so far. It would be only nice of you to say thank you. If you are it, you know how it is. Okay, not to worry, I know what can I just can I hug you? You're a nice person, huh? Thank you very much. <laughs> With you in the village, do you ever see me with any man? No, Did you ever see me do some kind of things that you didn't, you didn't understand? How could you have betrayed us, your family, like this? You stabbed us in the heart. You betrayed us. You didn't care about us. You only wanted whatever. I don't know what you wanted out of this. I sent you to take care of your sister. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mama, I'm sorry. Look at me. Look. I will not be one man who said to me because he was so intentional, I swear. Mama, 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 I didn't know you would ever treat me like this. I didn't know you would be the one to kill me. Angela, you see what you brought upon my life. You see what you brought upon my life. What did I ever do to you? What did I do? Did I hurt you? Did I mistreat you in any way? That's how you want to pay me back for everything I did for you as a child. <laughs> I brought you to the city so that you to be well with you. Thank you. upon you it was never my intention I know nothing I say would ever make up for the hurt and the humiliation you're going through but I just pray that God strengthens you and give you the ability to go through this I will support you in any way I can I just want you to know that I am deeply sorry and I want you to forgive me please <laughs> <laughs> Love 
love it. Love it. Oh, hey. If you go there, you have seen it now. We will go there. Just imagine how I put myself into trouble. Go there. Hey! Look at how I got myself into something that is worse than the deep blue sea. My life has become dark all of a sudden. Just imagine! Uh, Mom, I want my friend. I want her against pushing the husband into another hand of a strange woman. I want her mom. I begged her. There was nothing I didn't use to beg her. But you know what is bothering me most? Is the dicey nature of this shameful act. So, I suggest Ben should go ahead and marry the two sisters. Love it! What did you just say? Boy, there is no need getting mad at me. Because it happened in the Bible. Okay, Leah and um, Rachel and Jacob, two sisters. This one is different. That one happened in the Bible. Then, I don't know, one kaki tank, a present. Don't even bring them together. Oh, ne? You won't understand the one. Even this is my explanation. No, what I got, what I appear. Oh, one, I understand everything. I'm not a kid. Ah. So don't make me feel like. Love it, you are a kid, though. You don't understand nothing. This matter. Ah. I thought you were my friend. Don't go by me, Hey. I'm telling you to be careful of what you wish. You never know, you never know, never know. You might have it in a quiet way. I admit the entire fault is mine. And I will do anything to bring back the happiness. <laughs> Even if it's and tells about the pregnancy, Mama. I'm so sorry. I'm deeply sorry about everything that has happened. And I ask for everybody's forgiveness. It wasn't my intention to take the virginity of this innocent girl's death. It was just a handy work of the devil. I am taking responsibility for it and asking that I be forgiven. I do not want us to abort this pregnancy just solely for one reason. It is against the will of God and that is murder. Let's not complicate our situation. Ikono, I still really do love my wife and I don't want to hurt her. Ben, don't you think you have hurt your wife already by pregnancy your sister-in-law? Something that was given to you on trust, you devoured her. Ben, 
what you have done to yourself. Look at how you impregnated a girl, your sister-in-law. I am so disappointed in you. But this woman is filled me with disgust. I am disappointed in her alone. To her is human. Forgive the vine. Let's do away with the past and move on with the future, please. Mm -hmm. Listen, you can only achieve that by calling on to God Himself to come down and forgive you. Because what you have done is a taboo. Is that not pregnancy? Mm -hmm. Do forgive me, forgive me. Mama, I promise I'll do anything to bring back the happiness we won't share. Even if it means supporting this pregnancy. So what will you do to bring the happiness? You cannot do anything because the damage has already been done. Are you not pregnant? Is that not pregnancy? Even if you have, a, even if you have got the pregnancy, the damage has been done. You have destroyed the entire family. In a taboo. a taboo. Hey! To forgive you, you can only pray to God to come down and forgive you. Oh, you make it. Is this not pregnancy? Even if I bought the baby, the damage has been done. When you hear the man, broken bottle has not been brought let me go, yeah. I'm sorry because you're a man. I'm sorry, Mama. She made a promise where I can walk up on it. You got a lot of law to act in there, so I didn't walk it. You got a lot of law to do now. If you have gone to your room, what has happened? My spirit will not be at rest. If somebody begs me for something and I don't give, that they have begged you yourself, you gave. And look at the trouble. You have to face the consequences. When I was warning you, the society would take advantage of you. Unfortunately for you, it was your brother-in-law that took advantage of you. Shame on you! When I was telling you, hold yourself, don't give, don't give, don't give. You have given. Why are you up your mouth? Why are you up your mouth? In your gun. 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 My spirit cannot be at peace. Now your spirit is at peace. How is that female? Can you understand? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sweetheart, I'm sorry, honestly. I did not know this was going to happen. I'm deeply sorry. I don't want this to get out there and create a huge scandal. That is why I want you and I to put heads together and, and seek a solution to this. Ben. You've been sleeping with my sister all this while? I didn't plan this. It's the handiwork of the devil. Yes, I, I blame myself for falling for that temptation. Please, find, find it in your heart to forgive me, please. I'm begging you. Understand what? Understand what? You are sleeping with two sisters and you wanted to understand you. It wasn't calculated, I swear to God Almighty. It just happened, it was the devil. I, didn't, I, I did not plan for this. Please, forgive me. Ben! Please, just... Even if Ben, you, you betrayed me. You have shattered my heart. You have destroyed me. But even if I'm going to forgive you, I cannot let this go. I can't forget this. You know what? Then, 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 you, you, you and I have been seeking for for a child over the years. Don't you think this this is somehow God's? Yes, I want a child, but not from my sister. Not my sister. Look at it the other way around. It might just be God's own way of answering our prayers. <sighs> She's your sister. You grew up together. You know her very well. You understand yourself. So there won't be issues. Wait, wait. Does it mean that you knew all along that I was going to 
all you were doing all this while? No, 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 I didn't. You, 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 you want to marry two sisters? This is, 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 is obvious you are. Ask me, mind, you're, you're mad. It's obvious because. Ah! <laughs> I know I have disappointed you a great deal and I've humiliated this family. I want you to find it in your heart to forgive me and forgive your daughter. I know she has also disgraced you in no small way, but I want to beg you. I want to beg you to forgive all of this. I take responsibility for everything that has happened. Steph loves her sister. She cannot backstab her. This whole thing is my fault. All I'm asking is for you to just try and show her unconditional love. Just because of her condition. Ben, I love my daughter. I am not denying that fact. But my question is, in this present circumstance, in this situation, what do we do? Tell me, can you feature I may? I, I really would not know what's most appropriate, but I would suggest that we, since we've been looking for a child for a while now, that we keep that child so that the people of the world do not laugh at us and know that it, indeed we are able to make children. Did you just say that? Ben, your wife has been telling me about the series of miscarriages she's been having since both of you started living together. But you trying your manhood or stuff me is something I cannot understand. I cannot comprehend that one. What are you talking about? I know, I know I disappointed everybody, but I'm sorry. And I'm ready to make rectitude for this. I'm ready to, to make things right. Even if it means me marrying her. Did you say marrying her? Hey! I don't care for me. Listen. This thing you just said is beyond human comprehension. It's something unimaginable. It's something way out of this world. If it is ever revealed to you, my dear son, you will do away with that child. Let them know. Marry her. So no get no I did not say it. Why, Mama? Don't just talk about it. When we cross, when we get to that bridge, we won't cross it. We'll fly across it. And if I know why, I'll be feeling that I'm not saying, Oh, Brown, Fichon, okay, son, okay, low, low, you grow, yeah, you go on. Hi, Ben, you mean she said you cannot have the baby? Not that I'm married, huh? So what reason is she giving you? I don't know, Alex. That was what she told me after our discussion. But this is something very common in the society today. Eh? A man married two sisters. It's no longer news. Eh? Neither is it a secret. Eh? Ah. Well, these people had better understand this and forge ahead. Alex, I'm confused right now. I can no longer concentrate on anything anymore. I, I, I don't have anybody to talk to. I'm losing it. Come on, Ben. Why are you sounding negative now? Eh? See, let me tell you, no one is perfect. We're all bound to make mistakes. Eh? We make mistakes every now and then. Okay? We know that yes, you made a mistake. But in the total things that you have accepted, displayed. <laughs> So they should just understand you like But nobody sees it as a mistake. They all see it as something I did intentionally. They don't see me as someone who has committed an abomination and that is driving me crazy. The power of your personality makes you stand equal there. But you being yourself at this point speaks who you are. Come on, relax. I don't know how much longer I can be strong. Be strong. Love it, I was deceived by the devil and lost. But Ben, you would have resisted the temptation. But you stood too low. I am not trying to justify my actions. But you know, my, my, my wife contributed immensely to this. Come on, Ben. You are a big boy. Even if you are to sleep around, 
will actually be your wife's little sister who calls you a brother. But that is not good. I know. I take responsibility for my actions. I'm not denying that. But what I want you to do is to find a way to help talk to my wife so she can at least forgive me. Please. On my own, I've tried to talk to Angela. She and her mother have maintained you committed incest. What is the incest in this? This is not the first time a man is getting married to two sisters. I don't see anything bad in this that much. Well, I'm confused. Because I want Angela, but she would invest in. Now I see where it has landed at. Hi, God. Honey, I'm pleading with you. I've been pleading with you to forgive me that this, this was never intentional. What else do you want me to do? Do you want me to kill myself before you know I'm sorry for this huge mistake? Ben, please! Don't even make me lose my temper. I'm trying so hard to get a hold of myself. Just leave me the hell alone. I don't mind if you unleash your anger on me. I deserve it. But stop this torment. It's not fair. Please. I said I'm sorry. You are justified. I know I have erred. I've committed an atrocity. That's why I'm begging you to forgive me, please. Even Lovett scolded me like a baby today. You are worse than a betrayal. It's obvious. Your life is full of betrayal, lies, everything that is worse. That is all you stand for. You slept with my sister and then you have the nurse to shout at me. No, I, I was never shouting at you. I just wanted you to see reasons. Reasons? To have slept with my sister. You have done. You have done your own. So, you, you, you don't have anything to explain to me. You owe me no explanation. Okay, so, so why are you worried? Why are you bothered? I bother because it's affecting the way I exist. I can't concentrate. It's affecting me emotionally and mentally. I don't know what I'm doing again. That's why I'm bothered. Okay. Fine, so... What do you want to explain to me? What? Oh, okay, maybe... Okay, the way you smushed her, the way you guys were making out on bed and then she was moaning and, 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 and then she was moaning and, and then she was moaning. Can you just shut up? What has come over you? I said I'm sorry. Why are you adding to my torment? Do you know I smile? I smile because you've done your worst. You have tried and then it's confirmed. Ben, please. I beg you. I beg you. Please. Leave me alone and then move on with your life. Please. Please. Pico. Pico. I'm telling you to be careful of what you wish. So, Doctor, how is she? I, I, I hope she's responding to treatment. No, your wife is okay. She's feeling fine. Though the tests were carried on her, shows that she has internal bleeding. Yes? Please just do everything within your power to make sure she's okay. I'm begging you. 
do everything possible to treat her and get her fine, please. There's no problem. is not the end of the world. We have to move on. We just have to move on. Am I if only you had listened to me? <laughs> if only you had taken my words that children would come back. In God's time, all of this would not have happened. <sighs> now see where it has gotten us. Not only is my wife's sister pregnant for me, my wife herself is dead and gone. Son, you don't have to blame me. I'm only playing the role of a mother. That's all. Any mother in my shoes will do the same thing. 
This is not the type of casting blames, please. Now that this has happened, what next? Son, I love you so much. Yes, I do. That's why I want the best for you. It is the duty of every mother to protect the interest of her child. So you don't expect me to be silent when my only son marries for many years without an issue. I mean, how long am I going to go on train other people's children? How long when I have a child that will give me grandchildren? Just look at Obina. Soon he will finish his secondary schools and his parents will take him back as usual. And many of them that we are trained under you. Do you like it that way? Baba, please do not remind me of the things that led to the situation we have found ourselves now. Please. Let the things that are gone be gone and let us focus on the future. Don't worry, don't worry. Uh, you, you have to come down to the village to see Mazichu there. So um, you tell him about this and... Um, I want you to take heart. Bring your mind down, please. You are not alone in this. It concerns everybody. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Ben, I have slept and thought about this, and I came up to this conclusion. And what? We have decided on this decision I am going to discuss with you right now and here. What decision is that, Mama? Ben, we have fought like humans, but God has done his wish. And you, are, you and I, we all know that. It is God that has the final say over what we do or say. It is neither your fault or Stephanie's. No. Childlessness is a critical and difficult predicament that pierces the hearts of the victims. It can make a man go mad. My problem is that my daughter failed to understand this. Because if she had, she wouldn't have terminated her life. She would have taken it in her stride and made progress with her life. Because she refused to understand why this should happen to her in the first place. My daughter failed to understand that one should not allow him or herself to be changed by mere situations. My mother, now, she gave in to this. I know the result of this is it will either marry you or make you. It will either make you victorious or a victim. And in this case right now, we have to go. Hmm? Yes, we have to go to where we came from. Stephanie and I will go back to the village. How can, how can you even think, think this up? You want to leave me all alone in this house, in this very critical moment in my life? Ben, I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. I'm going to be a good one. What brought us together in the first place is Angela, my daughter. You came and married her. 
and we became family. Now that she's no more, we have to go to where we came from. We have to go back to the village. Mama, there is something called, you know, you can just decide to stay. Just a little more delay until Steph put to bed. And then you can go. I know this is where this will go to. She is my daughter. I decide where she stays or goes. I even decide what happens to that pregnancy. Tomorrow we are going. I truly understand all you just said. But going back to the village now is not the best idea. And what do you think is the best idea? For me to stay in this house and be tormented on daily basis? Is that the best idea? It won. Far from it, Mama. All I'm trying to say is. Going back to the village will amount to nothing but to expose the secret which we all have kept hidden, Mama. What secret are you talking about? The pregnancy, of course, Mama. How do you get to explain it? Now I know that this pregnancy is more important to you than the death of you, my own daughter, your elder sister. So this is what, how you are. You prefer this pregnancy to every other thing, even our family. You don't even care your sister died, my own daughter died because of this pregnancy. You're so selfish. Don't let me say that thing I am keeping. Because if I say it, you, this girl, you will cry blood. You will cry blood. You will shed blood. Mama, everything you say is true. But I still maintain that going back to the village is not the best option, Mama. Mama, I'm the one wearing the shoe and I know where it's pain. Shut your mouth, you're not wearing no shoes. Don't you ever open that your stupid mouth to use proverbs you don't even know the meaning of me. And shut your mouth while I don't do talking, you do the listening. Don't use that proverb you don't do not even know the meaning to me. Don't use it on me because you are mad. You are so selfish. I am just waiting for the better days to be over. So don't just provoke me. Don't push me. You are such a selfish girl. You are so mean, you are so wicked. Just get out. Get away! Before I hit you with this, your stupid pregnancy. So selfish. What is that supposed to mean? Did you just lock the door? Ogum. I am sorry I cannot allow you to go back to the village with Stephanie. Really? How many times have I told you that we don't belong here? Stephanie does not belong here, we belong to the village. Allow us to go back to where we came from. What's the pain? On the contrary, I have a lot of business with her, if you may know. I beg your pardon, what kind of business are you talking about? The business of the child she's carrying. Why are you pretending to be blind? I mean, why have you refused to acknowledge a simple fact? What simple fact are you talking about? Fact that I cannot allow your people to disappear with my grandchild. Never. Not after many years of lamentation to God. It will not work for you. Manko ke kwe subo ma ko safia. E kwe nso ma mpa na ta ma safia no wa mu wa Gladys. It's not possible. You don't know me oh. Gladys I say conspiracy. So you mean you conspire with your son to put Stephanie in the condition she is right now? I wish you know the gravity of the sin your son had just committed. If I to be crying blood by now. You'll be crying blood streaming down your stupid eyes. What that you did? You're shameless. You're your lousy son. You are both shameless. You can call it whatever thing you like. Oh, two minutes to wait here, here, here. Whatever name you like, you can call us. I don't care. I don't really care. Eh? 
the truth is that there is nothing hidden under the sun. And there is nothing new under the sun. Hmm? Besides, it could happen to anybody. My son is not the first person requesting to marry two sisters. Yeah! That's the truth you refuse to understand. Gladys, I see you as a desperate mother-in-law who does not care about where her grandchild comes from. Whether from the moon, whether from the sky, whether from a baboo, you don't care. All you want is to carry your grandchild. You're so despicably desperate. Fine! Good! And you are also a grandmother who have refused to understand what it means to have an only son married for many years without an issue yes fine 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 i understand that fact why don't you allow this simple-hearted woman to go her way i want to go back to where i came from gladys i am tired i can't go on anymore i am tired allow me to go not until she delivers the baby yeah. is that supposed to be a threat or what Opportunity now that she has given birth. Yes, it's the right time. Yes, Mama, is everything okay? Yes, everything is very all right. And how are you? I'm fine, Mama. Congratulations. In a tago, each go for a poor. And I get a more who are you, Ghana? But can why deem it? Oh, Joe, for all? No, man. You know, for me. They look up on women. Look at how healthy your baby is. One. No, man. My daddy, Jay. No. My daughter. I said to myself, I cannot keep this hidden anymore. Because it is this situation that has brought us to these present circumstances we are all facing today. My daughter would have been in a better position to say this. But since she failed to do it, I decided to say it myself, at least to hit the nail on its head. We all are victims of this circumstance. And I said to myself, as soon as Stephanie delivers her baby, I am going to make the truth known to everyone. My son, Ben, remember you told me you wanted to marry Stephanie to wipe away the shame that's overwhelmed all of us? And I refused. Because what am I going to say now? It's beyond human comprehension. It's something that is unimaginable. It happened when Stephanie was two years old. I am very happy. Did the cousin happy again? Mama, do you know Amaka? Amaka. 
Yes, na mama Amaka, na Amaka. Mazude's daughter. Oh, 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 I know her. Uh -huh. What about her? Hmm. I saw her on my way back, mama. Guess what? Mama, she just told me that I should come and stay with her in the city. That she will take me to the city. That she will get me a job, mama. Since I'm done with my studies. Mr. Amaka, does she have a house in the city? Or does she have a work? Mama, it be a quoi. It be a quoi. You can ask so many questions at a time. You will not judge, Kita. I will put up on you. Uh, yeah, let me answer your question. Mama, mm -hmm. she told me that, um, that they, 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 there are plenty of girls in the house and they, they, they contribute money and pay for the rent. And then she just gets me a good job, Mama, a very good one. Uh, it is like that. Me, I know you want to go to the city. Yes, Mama. Uh, you are mature enough to know what you want. You are old enough to know what you mm -hmm. want. Let's be careful. Anya, sir. Advice you, that's the only thing I would do. Mama, huh? and your son, and your son. Okay. Very importantly, Manchifia. Thank you, Mama. Mama, let's go inside. Plenty, wonderful, important gist to tell you. <laughs> Have you known this man that you have accepted to marry him all of a sudden? It's just a few months you went to the city. You're talking about marrying somebody you hardly know. Mama. Hey, Mama, please. <laughs> I have known Ben for a little time now. Yes, but um, Mama. I love him already, Mama. Mama. The man is every woman's dream. Mama. I feel okay. A full guinea, mama. If you see him, hey, mama, okay, the call guard. Hey, mama. <laughs> so, when is he going to come so that I can see things for myself? I can have a whole phone here for a baby. You know, you're my only daughter. I wouldn't want you to make mistakes. Mama, soonest you will miss him. In fact, that is why I came down here to see you, mama. Really? Yes. Awesome, be that they are coming to meet you soonest. Yes, Mama. No problem. Since you decided to love and marry him, <laughs> it's no problem. I will support you. I give you my hundred percent. Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> now you decided to get married and move to the city. What happens to Stephanie? Are you going to the city with her, Mama? Oh, sister. Oh, she's so child. Yes, yes, no, no doubt. But because of good old girl, or sin city. How? Mama, I'm not now. We can't be a If I tell him now, he he might just get biased and then change his mind. When lose your umbrella, Mama, don't worry. No, 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 no. I will not. Ah, Mama, pick up, pick up, pass on. Hi, Angela. On this one, you may be right. You may not be right. Not every man is like that. In my opinion, I think you should tell him because if you tell a man, he won't decide on how to handle it. Whether to accept it or not to accept it. Than knowing the truth in the middle of nowhere. Mama, see, Stephanie will stay with you, Nemo. She's already used to you. Of course. She calls you mother. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, go. Settled. Mama, whatever you people want that you need, don't worry. I will provide it, 100%. In fact, I will be coming to check up on you on a regular basis. Nem, hey, don't worry. Hey, Stephanie, I will stay with her. Hey, hey, Mama, thank you. Thank you, my mother. Dalu. My in-law. Hey! My in-law. <laughs> you see why I refused you to marry Stephanie? Because if you have done it, you would have been married to my granddaughter, and you both would have committed a taboo. You wouldn't have forgiven me if you let her find out. What are you saying? Angela was early coming home. 
So Stanley had come used to me. She never saw Angela again as her mother. Do you know? Wait a second, Mama. Are you saying that you are not my biological mother? Stephanie, yes. <laughs> Angela, you see, as your elder sister, <laughs> is your biological mother. Mama, how could you? <laughs> Take Stephanie so that they will have the opportunity of identifying and interacting with his mother and daughter <laughs> to give her the opportunity. And she refused. I started stressing me as her mother. I don't know how I will explain to her that the woman she sees as her mother has turned out to be her grandmother. I didn't mean it to be, and I, I didn't know it would come to this like this. Hey. Why you to help me? I you go back. Hey! Get your hands off me, Mama! Let me go back. you with everything I have. Do not go, please. I know I have wronged heaven and I have wronged you, but I am begging you to forgive me, if not for anything, for the sake of your late mother. Think about her and forgive me, I beg you. I have forgiven you, sir. But still, I'm leaving. Okay. Okay. What happens to the baby? You are the father of the child. You should determine what happened to him. But he needs you. You need him more. I'm sorry, but I can't stand the mystery behind his birth. You can take him to the motherless baby home if you wish. If fate happens to bring us together, I'll stop at nothing but to accept him. But if not, take care of him. Don't do this to us now. Mama, Biko. 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 You want your child to hurt this way? <laughs> Is that your wish for your little baby? <laughs> you want to child go through what you're going through right now? <laughs> I beg you. Don't let it say that before you befell your child. I beg you in God's name, stay with your child. Stay with your child. <laughs> then let's break this jinx. <laughs> And of course, I just lost the doctor your call again. I beg you in God's name, stay please with your baby. When I dig your baby, I want your major. My big colleague. Please. I beg you, stay with your child. <laughs> stay with your child. I beg you, stay with your child. Don't let me go through it again. <laughs> I'm telling you to be careful of what you work for. I 